friends. We have a, we have a special guest. The dog hives. <laughs> <laughs> so now you can see this is the top of his head. He's like, it's too much work to lift my head. Oh, I don't want to do <laughs> That's that. That's how we all feel right now. <laughs> I hope everybody is having a post. What was the hurricane? Etta. 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 I hope everybody's having a post hurricane joyful day. Joyful day. Joyful day. <clears throat> I'm Shaman. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm Yolanda Harper. Right. We're the Connected Relationship. All right. We and came today. We're here. We came. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we came. We saw. <laughs> <laughs> we came. We saw. We came. Never mind. It's a day. It is. It's a day. It's Thursday, though, which is pre-Friday, so congratulations, everyone, for making it through a hurricane week, and yeah, I, it's almost Friday. I mean, we almost made it. Almost. almost. We're, like, we're close. I'm, I mean, I'm ready to start celebrating now, so <laughs> screw it. <laughs> so we, our topic today... Right. What are we talking about? Lessons on communication from the divorce boat. Right. Remember that time? Right, right. Remember that time? Mm -hmm. So a couple of years ago, for our anniversary, we had a bucket trip, uh, a bucket list experience. Right. We went to go see the bioluminescence. Right. Um, we drove over to Titusville, right. Florida. Very yes. cool. Totally recommend it. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. get in a boat with another person. Okay. So what happens is we were so excited yeah. about like we're gonna get to see like the these little creatures that glow and like swim in the water mm -hmm. right it's a magical experience i don't think either one of us thought much about how the process that it was <laughs> going to take profoundly it would affect our lives how <laughs> we would be talking about it two years later right so um when we get there we're told oh we're gonna put you in the divorce boat right the double kayak. <clears throat> it's yeah, but it's like it's like a really poorly designed double kayak. Right. It's a glass bottom, like yeah, so you can see the bioluminescent as you're paddling through the water. That are basically intentionally impossible to navigate. The boats, not the right. bioluminescent. Right, right, the boats. <laughs> so they said, Oh, this is a divorce boat and I don't know, I guess I was a little cocky. <laughs> well, we do paddle a lot, so maybe <laughs> I was like divorce boat. Ah, uh, we got this. We did. We got this. We can communicate. We we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not, because I think for the first however many minutes, <coughs> I don't know, we just literally paddled in, in like circles. our boats were going in circles. Everybody else was like taken off. Right, and we were going in circles, and yelling at each other. You were yelling. <laughs> I think you were yelling at me too. <laughs> you were like, why are we going in circles? <laughs> it was it was not our finest moment and it was a little sobering. So there was some moments of reflection after that experience. <laughs> after after that experience, there no. has been much moments for reflection and how does this apply to our life? And how does this apply to our life and our relationship? So I will say we did mm -hmm. kind of figure it out and it was an amazing experience. So if you totally ever had the opportunity then practice paddling ahead of time. Right. Practice communication. So it, it reminds me of those like uh, uh, communication exercises, like um, talk through the steps of making a peanut butter sandwich with your partner. Right. And you don't really realize the steps of making a peanut butter sandwich until you have to describe it to someone. Right. And like they can only take the action that you're describing. Right. The literal action you're describing. Right. Yeah, because we assume summer. so much. We do. We assume, and so so I remember distinctly being in that canoe and you saying, "Go that way," and I was like, "I don't know which way that way is." The way I'm facing right. <laughs> so it was like, right. We didn't realize that, you know. We didn't realize how much communication can fail on a divorce boat. On a divorce boat, which is why they call it a divorce boat. Right. So. Here are some of our takeaways as we have thought through. Okay, right, right. I mean, communication is very important, mm -hmm. right? Obviously, mm -hmm. it's one of our big tenets here mm -hmm. at what we do. Mm -hmm. um, particularly, communication in your relationship is very important. Right. So, rather than end up on the divorce side of the divorce boat. Spinning in circles. It's probably best that we figure out how to talk to each other. Right. Right? Right. So, I, I think the first tip here is... To know yourself, right? Yeah. 
have an understanding of what your expectations are, right? Like, yeah. know, okay, this is what, I know me, and this is what I'm expecting here. Yeah. And, and I think if you at least can start from that foundation. Right. I, I know there are times that you find yourself disappointed in situations, right. whether that be in your relationship or in life or whatever. And when you really pause and think about it, it's like, well, part of the disappointment is that I didn't know that I felt strongly about this, or I didn't know that this right. is what I wanted, right. or I didn't know that this was what my expectation was. I didn't know that my expectation was I was going to jump in a boat and us paddle smoothly and be able to really focus on the bioluminescence and how cool that was. Right. As opposed to like go through this learning curve. But like those whole expectations are shattered the minute everything turns left. Right. And then you're like, oh man, what is happening? Right. And that kind of takes us to our second point here, which is don't just assume that your partner knows what you want. Right. Right. We've known each other for a hot minute. Yeah, many decades. 30 years, right? Right, right. And um, I can make some educated guesses about, you know, your perspective and mm -hmm. maybe what you think and feel and that kind of thing. But still, right. I can't, I haven't mastered the art of reading your mind. Right. And which makes me completely angry all the time. <laughs> all I the wish, time. <laughs> I wish you could just, no. <laughs> Ditto. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, I, I'm sure we're not alone in this. You are likely not able to read your partner's mind. So it is. Don't assume that you know. Right. Um, don't assume that your partner knows about you. So know yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't assume your partner knows mm -hmm. um, what you want. Mm -hmm. And our third one is express yourself. And this is like crazy stuff, right? Like know what you want. Don't assume your partner knows what you want. And like... Tell your partner what you want. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Mind blowing. It's, right there. But it's kind of profound because we get so stuck in the why can't you just read my mind? We get so stuck in going in circles in that right. in that boat. So yeah, um, it takes a lot of vulnerability to speak your truth and to like right. really share from your heart. Right. Um, because we don't know how our partner's gonna respond. Um, but how else But that's actually the next big piece, right? So like Know yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't assume that your partner knows what you want. Mm -hmm. Tell your partner what you want. Mm -hmm. Be willing to tell. And your then partner. be willing to hear what your partner has yeah, to say. Yeah, could reciprocate that. Right, because yeah. it it might not fit your expectation. And you know what? We in um, our romantic relationships are each adults. We're consenting adults. How many romantic relationships well, do we have? <laughs> Each of us who has a romantic relationship. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like just us in our romantic relationship. It was like, wow, I only got one. <laughs> yep. So I have my point of view and right. the way that I think about things. And you have your own. I have what's wrong. <laughs> you have your own point of view. Right. No judgment. Right. Yeah. So it's, it's being open to hear what our partner is thinking and feeling too. Right. And then lastly, if you're conf Hey, are you going to take over the screen? <laughs> Hops, make you his debut. <laughs> lastly, yeah. ask clarifying questions. If you're confused, you should ask clarifying questions. Uh, right? I'm sorry, what are we talking about? <laughs> yes. Be willing to ask questions and, and do it from a place of curiosity, not judgment. Right. And not with control or expectation or manipulation or any of those things that we kind of find ourselves doing from time to time. So right. Clarifying questions come from a, a place of genuine curiosity and care and concern and wanting to be have a better understanding of each other's world. Right. And, and if they're, you know, if they come from that place, mm -hmm. they're designed to get you both on the same sheet of music. Right. Not like judgment or anything like that. Right. And then right. that's the deeper connection that we're looking for. Right. So, I mean, Look take it that. from us Lessons on the divorce, divorce board. <laughs> divorce, <laughs> divorce, <laughs> divorce, oh. divorce boat. Yeah. Um... I think it's very valuable. Yeah. You know, we I all agree. screw up communication 
in our most intimate relationships, so very poor, bad, you know. Yeah. So. So if in your relationship you find yourself spinning in circles, right, in communication, think through these points. So, what is our relationship challenge? Oh my gosh! I don't, I don't know. Go get on a canoe together and. <laughs> What is our relationship challenge? We need to think through that. Which of these steps resounds most for you in your relationship? Which oh, one sounds up. like we have got you got something better? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so in your relationship, give these steps a try. Maybe um, being vulnerable is one of the most challenging for you, or maybe asking clarifying questions from a place of curiosity. Right, that's hard because, you know, we, we position ourselves from a place of judgment so easily. Mm -hmm. And I, I think sometimes we just do it and don't even realize it. Right, right. So practice these communication skills in your relationship and have a good rest of your week. Enjoy good to your see weekend. you guys. Talk Bye. to you soon.